Hello and welcome. In this episode we're going to take a look at how to import this 3D model of this Lamborghini into our Unity project. First of all, what we're going to need is an actual 3D model which should be included into the video description below. And this model should have some textures or some materials preset to it. If you don't, so if you don't have anything else to add to this 3D model, what you're going to do is go into the export method or the export button and export it as a FBX somewhere into your uh, computer. Okay, so if you are in Blender, which should be also included into the package down in the video description. What you can do is export it from Blender as well. So export it as a FBX. Or if for some reason FBX doesn't work, what you can do is export it as a .obj file, a wavefront file. That should work just fine as well. So export this somewhere into your computer and then open up Unity. So because I've already exported it as a .fbx file, as you can see down here, what we're going to do is go to the scenes folder and go to the models folder. I mean the model scene. So what we're going to see in here is some preloaded uh, vehicles. This Nismo GTR, by the way, is not included into the package. So what we're going to do is disable all of them, but just leave one of them and make sure the, that one that you just left is in the position of zero and the scale obviously of one so we're gonna do is select that and go to prefab if you're using a unity 2020 if you're using a earlier version it should work just fine so you just go into prefab and click unpack so this should unpack it and now this is not a prefab model okay so once you've unpacked your selected model what you're gonna do is go inside and find the body component so everything that contains the body and the wheels we, we're just going to delete them. so now we're left with the wheels so what we're going to do is select them both and just untick the visibility so what we're going to do now is drag and drop in our fbx model which is right here drag and drop it into uh, uh, your scene and make sure that the position is at zero so instead of just going and changing it from like six to zero what you're going to do is just click reset so this should reset it into absolute zero next thing we want to do is unpack it so unpack prefab and drag and drop it into the parent folder so now to align the wheels into the correct direction we're going to go back to the wheels that we disabled earlier and we're going to enable them so now what we can see is that these wheels are pointing into this uh, blue direction which is the z direction the z plus direction so what we need to do is just select the aventador and rotate it 90 degrees next thing we want to do is lower it very slightly so it's touching the the ground okay now we're almost done the very last thing to do is to fix the wheels so what we're going to do is take out the wheels folder and what we're going to do is create empty game object inside the wheels. So once you create a game object, it's going to create a empty game object at the very center of the axle. And that is exactly what we need. And now what you're going to do is take out that game object and make it a parent of that very same wheel. So now if we select the game object and we rotate the game object, we're going to see that it rotates in a perfect angle. So what we're going to do now is do the exact same thing with the all four wheels. And what we have now is four game objects that are not currently uh, named. So if you remember, the sorting for the wheels is, for the front one, is 0, 1, and for the rear ones is 2 and 3. So let's rename these game objects. Now we got the, cor the correct sorting. So it's 0, 1 and for the front, and 2 and 3 for the rear. The next thing we want to do is duplicate that folder and rename that folder. So if we take a look at the ones that were before into the previous uh, vehicle, which we should disable for now, is that they have these names. One is wheel collider and one is wheel meshes. So what we're going to do is copy those names, the wheel meshes and the wheel colliders, and obviously paste them into the ones that we just created. So what we can do now is delete the two folders 
go into the wheel colliders. So in the wheel colliders, all we need is a single empty game object. So what we're going to do is just simply delete the wheel meshes. So now we have four empty game objects. And one thing we need to make sure when applying the wheel colliders into the wheels is that we need to make sure that the rotation is all set to zero and the scale is set to one. Now the reason for that is, I'm going to show you right now, is that if we go and add a component of wheel colliders, we're going to see that they are ginormous. See, these are the wheel colliders that should go into the wheels. The reason for that is obviously the scale is 100. So what we're going to do is obviously set them to scale 1 and the rotation is going to be 0. And then just obviously add the wheel colliders to it. So all you have to do for the wheel colliders is change the radius to 0.35, the suspension distance to 0.1 and the center to 0.6. So now the rear ones match perfectly, but the front ones are a little bit higher. So what we're going to do is just lower them. And now we got perfect results. And that's all we need for the wheels. The next thing, and this is totally optional, is to remove or replace these uh, exhausts. So just select them and replace them and into the actual exhaust of the model that you're importing. And now the very last thing is obviously to rename your object. Rename the car name as well. And obviously you can change the power of your vehicle. In here you, you can just select everything and just rise it. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. And now for the, l for the very last part is just uh, texturing. So this is a fairly easy part. You can just drag and drop uh, materials and to your vehicle. So I'm going to I'm going to texture this car right now and I'll be back. Okay, so here is the car after you texture it and do whatever you want with it. Now, like, as you can see the collision objects are not set perfectly fine. So y you can change that just by lifting it up a little bit or whatever you want to do with it. For now this is uh more than fine. And all you have to do is make this object into a prefab. To make this object into a prefab just drag it and drop it into your folder. That will make a prefab of this very object. And after you make this object into a prefab, you can drop it into the vehicle list, which I've already done, but I'm gonna do it again if you want to. We're gonna have a X amount of vehicles. You just have to raise it by one. So I have eight, I'll make it nine, and drag and drop your Aventador. After you've done that, you can delete the model from the model scene and head on over to the awake scene. Okay, so if we hit play, we should get obviously your previous model. And if you click the next button, you can see that your model is going to appear in here. You can buy it and then you can obviously drive it into your maps. So if you've been actually following this tutorial, you may come across this issue that the wheels actually don't match up, but actually just turn completely into the other direction, as you can see in here. So these are now facing obviously the, the opposite direction. And to actually fix that, you have to go into your vehicle. You have to go into the wheel mesh, not the parent object, but the wheel inside the parent object and just uh, rotate that into 180. But obviously changing that into the play mode is not going to work. So what you need to do is memorize the rotation that these have. So for me, the left wheels have a rotation of 180 degrees. The right wheel has as well 90, one, 180 degrees. And the very last wheel or the third wheel has a rotation of zero. So you have to memorize that and exit the play mode. And then what you have to do is go into your prefab, not the one that you imported as a FBX. You have to go into the prefab and then in here, you have to change that into 180. So if you remember, three of the wheels were 180 and the, the wheel in the back was in zero. So once you change them to 180, they obviously will flip into the other direction. So what you can do is go inside the wheel and change them as well to 180. So select all of them and change them to 180. 
And now what we have is a somewhat stable vehicle. So now if we hit play, we'll see what happens. All three wheels have been fixed except for the last one. The last one has a rotation of 180 degrees and the wheel inside it has a one a rotation of one 180 degrees as well. So to fix that, we'll all have to do all we have to do is change the rotation to zero. So let's exit the play mode one more time. Go to the last wheel or the third wheel and change the rotation to 180. This will flip the wheel and we'll, we'll change the child object to zero. So now what we have is perfectly aligned wheels. So now if we look, we have all four wheels perfectly aligned forward and we can obviously drive the vehicle. We can brake and we can do whatever we want. Okay, so that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and also thank you for a thousand subscribers and I'll see you into the next video.